for not telling them the reason you sent him out. Was I supposed to send him away? The answer is no. But I did what I did because you forced me to take in that action. But I told her I did not sleep with him. You told me you did not sleep with him. For the fact that you talked to him about that at all is the most shameful and disgraceful thing you have ever done in this marriage. I'm disappointed. I am sorry, my love. Stop, stop. Stop this. You say, I am sorry, I am sorry, as if it's going to change anything. It will not. It's a mistake that you've made already. There is nothing anybody can do about it. My major worry is, how am I going to handle your daughters that needed this young man, this cook, by all means? How do I handle them because I'm not bringing him back? My love, you have to bring him back. You know how they are. They are not ready to eat nor do anything if you don't bring him back. You know how they behave already. Please, I am begging you. Please, don't look at my sins. Thank you. No. No. They have to learn how to adjust without him. Oh no. Yes, my king. You wanted to see me. So what is it that you want to see? My king, I brought good news. Yes. Do you know the famous Igbo Ohazurike, one of Amama Kingdom? Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> I heard his second son is in need of a wife. And is ready to make his choice. If possible, someone from the royal family. What are you waiting for? <laughs> huh? What are you waiting for? Huh? <laughs> Tell him to come and pick any of my daughters. Exactly why I am here, my king. Do you know if he eventually marries any of your daughter, you automatically have an heir to your throne? Really? You see, that is why I keep talking about you. Hmm? I'm very, very happy. <laughs> so what do I do to make him marry any of my daughters? <laughs> Just tell me, advise me. Well, my king, I will go and see the father, the king, mm. today. And to inform him your interest of becoming his prospective in-law. So that the son will proceed to visit your palace. Wap your son. <laughs> Wap your son. Be fast about it. Let him come and pick any of my daughters. I will oblige him. You're welcome, hmm? my king. I will oblige him. But there is one thing. What is it? For the prince to make a choice of a wife, she needs to be a good dancer. A good dancer? Yes, my king. <laughs> You are welcome to my palace. Thank you, my king. You know, my king, your palace can be likened to a paradise. I must confess, you are indeed a man of high taste. You can say that again. Once again, you are welcome to my palace. Thank you, my king. Yeah. What of your father, King Ohazurika of Imama Kingdom? He's alive and well. You know, he sent his regards after telling me you went to the same primary school in the 60s. Yeah, exactly. Your father, the king, used to be my classmate. He used to be a very intelligent scholar, very brilliant. You know, and it 
gave him scholarship for him to study overseas. Yes, he told me that. Greetings, my friend. Greetings, my dear. Sit. My queen. Yes, my darling. Prince Ifani Chubu. The second son of uh, King Hazulike of the Mama Kingdom. Oh. Yeah. You're welcome to our home. You're such a handsome prince. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my queen. You know, my queen, I am blessed to be in this palace. Mm. <laughs> you can say that again. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, before I continue with this discussion, I think I have to do the needful. I have to give you cola nuts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My daughter, do you know why I called you here? No, Father. I am looking for a wonderful dancer. Do you know where I can get anyone? Father, what are you doing with a dancer? Don't worry. There's a development, but I'll open up to you and your sisters once the time is ripe. Hmm? Father, I hope everything is okay. Everything is okay. Everything is alright. Just get me a dancer, and I will tell you what is happening. Yes. Uh, well, I am surprised you are looking for a dancer, while you sent the one we have in this palace away. Yes, Father. Who? You sent him away. What are you trying to say? Benji? Yes, of course. Are you trying to say that the cook is a wonderful dancer? <laughs> Father, he is a very good dancer. If he dances for you, <laughs> Father, you will forget your sorrows. I am very sure of what I'm saying. I'm telling you. Benjamin. Yes, Benjamin, Father. I am very sure. But unfortunately, he has gone. My brother, have you had the O? Have you had about the latest palace cuckoo? His name is Benji, Benji the cuckoo die. He's calling there for kitchen and pot. Hey, my brother, have you had the O? Have you had about the latest palace cuckoo? His name is Benji, Benji the cuckoo die. He's calling there for kitchen and pot. Chai, if you chop his food, if only if only met the lawyer, if only see Benicia Michaka. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings. Benji, Your Highness. I did not ask you to come back and resume your work because I wanted to. But it's because I am expected to, especially now, that a particular opportunity presented itself. My daughters, Father. something good is about to happen to this family. And there is something I've been keeping away from all of you for quite some time now. I think it's the right time to let the cats out of the bag. You all know popular Igwe or Hazurike of Imam Kingdom. Yes, Father. Good. His second son, Ifani Chuku, is about to choose a bride. But again, he must choose the bride from the royal line. Yeah. Automatically, that means the royal family must be favored. That means one of my daughters must be favored. You don't mean it. Oh. <laughs> Father. Okay. Thank God that you're here. So, I deemed it wise to broach all of you on this. And that was why I had to invite 
Benjamin. Because that marriage must be consummated in one condition, that the bride in question must be a wonderful dancer. I was told that uh, Benji here knows how to dance. That was the information reaching me. Yes, Father. That is where he comes to place, to teach all of you how to dance. Perfect, Dad! Thank you, Dad. Benji, you're welcome! <laughs> So you're welcome. So, what do you think, Angie? About what exactly? About dancing for the prince. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait to dance for the prince. Oh. Yes, of course. Who wouldn't want to marry a prince? Right. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and I should dance for him too. Oh. Wait, Ola. Were you thinking of not doing that? Um, not really. Um, just that. I just wanted to be sure it's what every one of us wants. That's oh, it. Oh, I see. Anyway, like I said, I will be a foolish person not to dance for the prince. I know, right? Come on, a prince, his father is very influential, powerful. He has everything. Tell me about it. Yes, I would definitely dance for the prince. Okay. <laughs> okay. So your game? 100%. <laughs> so you were just telling me about something before. <laughs> um, I don't think I want to dance for the prince. Why? Aren't you tired of this royalty lifestyle already? If you're not, me. I'm tired. That's why you even want to marry a commoner that will take me around the whole world. Instead of marrying a prince whom I will still live in a confined place, called palace. Let's all explore, man. I'm tired. Hmm. Since you have a point there. Uh-huh. Yeah. But well, that does not mean you're not dancing for the prince. Because me, I would like him to marry you. Uh-huh. You want him to marry me? Yes. Not me and you. Why? <laughs> what are you saying? Aren't you our elder sister again? Eh? You are the Adam now. You deserve the best. I don't even know. <laughs> well, you're right. But I'm not convinced yet. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I'm still thinking about it. My sister. You know what you said now? That marrying a commoner will be more fun. That is what I also want. Ha! I lied though. Don't mind me. Yeah, do not mind me. You know what? Marry royalty because you're the first daughter of this family. Forget that I say you should marry a commoner. Don't you like this lifestyle you're living? The lifestyle is sweet. To me, I like good things, you know already. So, don't listen to me. As the first daughter, you deserve the best. So, I think you should go for him. Don't mind us. You have a point. You and the prince now, that's gang game, you understand? <laughs> I'll think about it. Maybe I'll join you. I'll, I'll start taking the dancing class seriously. You should, though. You should, now. All right. You need to go and marry. <laughs> I'm tired of this marry, 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 marry. Like, does my life depend on marriage? Not really. Eh? Not really. But why, why is everybody to... telling me marry, marry, marry? marry? What's, what's that? Toast. Well to success. Yes, so well love. I cannot believe that the tussle for the successor to the throne is finally behind us. We made it. Honestly, honestly, my dear wife, I am very, very happy that I have Ono as a friend. Honestly speaking, when he brought that news, I was very, very happy. I know. See that Onowu? He is indeed a good man. Wonderful to the world. I'm telling you, he's a good man. He has a good in heart. Honestly. Hmm? I, I just thank God I have somebody like him as a friend. Ah. And as my Onowu, 
Do you know, he takes everything that has to do with us to heart. He cares about us. The children, the throne, our family, everything. As if we are his own. He's not selfish in any way. He is not an evil man. My love, I just like his person. Same here. Same here. And I will stop at nothing by appreciating that man with a car gift when this hotel is over. Oh my goodness. Ah, <laughs> my mind is mad. I'll give him a car. And I support you all the way. Let's do for that. Cheers. One love. <laughs> my loving So why didn't you come out? I don't think it's right to be in a competition with my sisters. Yes. Besides, I am not ready to settle down with any man now. Let them get married if they want. Not me. Are you saying you are not ready for marriage yet or what? No. I didn't say so. You don't want to get married? Yes, I am not ready now. They are quite older than I am. Let me give them the chance to get married. You are wrong. Marriage is not by age, but destiny. Yes, some are destined to marry early. <laughs> That's true. I know. But I want my sisters to get married. They are quite older than I am. So tell me, how was it? Hmm. Very boring and uninteresting. Are you serious? Why? Yes. If not under respect I have for your father, 
I wouldn't have done that. I would have just said I'm sick that I can't teach anybody. Oh, please. Don't say this. Huh? If not for anything, just do it for the sake of my sisters. I want them to get married. Huh? Okay, just do it for me. Okay? I should do it for you. Yes. I will do it for you on one condition. <laughs> okay. What's that? You must be present while I teach them. <laughs> you are very funny. I thought you'd say you would say, let me wash another dishes for you. No, 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 no. Just be present. It's okay. Consider it done. Yeah. I'll do it for you. All right, then. What if the prince does not choose any of our daughters? That means all the dancing classes they've been attending would have been in vain. I'm not even thinking towards that direction. But I want you to note one thing. The prince must pick a bride from the royal line. You talk as if it's only our daughters that are from royal line. There are other girls there that are from royal blood too. And from other villages. He could choose from them. But the prince's interest is here, is in this family. Yeah? I'm just showing concern. You are showing concern, but I want you to know the truth. There is no way that man will not make a choice out of my beautiful daughters. I think the only prayer is for God to favor us this time. I just wish you would pick our daughter. Ify. That girl has been waiting on God for a husband. I just pray fate will smile on her this time around. And she's picked our first food. I see that our thought goes towards the same lane. God will do it. Amen. They say my food is not enough for they want my yacht, jolla, jolla. They said they hated me before. Now they come, they love me, die. Joy, ordinary cook. Ordinary cook. Hi, love. Hi, my princess. Benjamin. Mm. You know, I'm not mm. happy with you for rejecting my proposal the last time. I'm sorry, my princess. Just that I was scared and confused at the same time. I didn't know how to react. Well, that's okay. You're such a good dancer, you know. So I came to find out, how did you learn all these wonderful steps? Mm -hmm. Who taught you? My grandma was a great dancer before she died. No. So while growing up, I lived with her. That was how I learned how to dance. You're joking, right? I'm serious. Oh, wow. Lucky you then. At least you know who your grandma is, unlike us. Our grandma died even before our parents met. So my princess, what do you want? As you can see, I'm resting. You want food? Of course, no! <laughs> you know what I want? I want you, Benjamin. Where are you going to? It's you I want. <laughs> I want you. Listen to me. Even if it's just this one time. Do not marry me. Just sleep with me, okay? Please. I want oh, you. My princess. Please to me. <laughs> my princess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> my princess how, how did they remove this royal clothes? Okay, start from the back to back. Sis. I have been trying to talk to Ngozi and Ola not to be in their beds on the day of selection. Because I wouldn't want anything that would make Prince say Mama not to select you as his wife. Excuse me. Now why would you want to do a thing like that? Why are you discouraging them? Listen, I do not care. I don't care whether he chooses me or not. Yeah, he can go ahead and choose any of you. It's not my business. I'm fine. Honestly. So you don't have to tell them that, please. Uh, uh, wait. I, I don't understand you. What are you talking about? Baby sis, what I'm talking about is very simple. That I, Princess Ife Yuma, is not interested in any so-called prince. So, the rest of you can go ahead and look your best that day. No, he's free to choose any of you. I'm fine. 
I'm fine. I'm not in a hurry, please. I'm not desperate to. <gasps> Since what is really going on? Huh? Opposite Kwagi? You see, you are my baby sis and I know that you're still coming up, so there are a lot of things you will not really understand now, but you will definitely understand much, much later. You see, this life is quite deep. Sometimes you run into this fine looking man who doesn't have all to give you, I mean financially and otherwise. But in bed, he's super, super capable of giving you the most pleasurable ride you can ever think of. And you know what? That is the exactly kind of man I am searching for in a husband. Mm -hmm. You know, you're still coming up, so you might not really understand what I'm saying, but that's my kind of man. Sis, I don't know what is really going on with you, honestly. It's not for you to understand me now, but I know you will do so. <laughs> Everybody must come and Jai, Benji, 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 I want a special class from you. But I've told you people that there is no dancing class today. I need to rest. That's the more reason why I'm here. Yeah. You know, I need a special and private class from you. The last time I saw my sisters smooshing their bodies around you during the dancing class, I kept my cool because I knew I was going to have a special class with you. That is why I'm here. You want a special class with me? Of course. Princess. Mm -hmm. Princess. Sorry, is Ezra <laughs> Extra class demands extra fee. Yes. So if you want oh. extra class, you have to pay more. I am not a church rat. Okay? I'm a princess. I'm important to the task. I... Just don't worry. I'll take care of you. Ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to the bathroom. You know it's private class. We have to keep it private. Fine. Okay. Let's go. But now I don't bless you. I hope you enjoyed it. Ah, I enjoyed it. Come on. Like this feels like a dream come true, my love. I've been wanting this opportunity, but you kept on denying me. Yes, I know. I always see it in your eyes. But I needed to be sure you know what you want. Of course. Of course. That was why you kept on denying me. But to tell you the truth now, Itoka, you're so sweet. Ah, if there's anything better than sweet, that is what you are. <laughs> so this is what you ever wanted? Of course. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I have, I have, let me tell you now. Okay. I can't wait. Like, I can't wait to choose you as my wife. Get out of it! Oh my gosh! Oh my baby! Oh, stupid! Oh my god! You know your voice. You know this relationship is the secret in Yes. You have not announced it yet. God! Keep it on the You know how happy you make me feel. I couldn't contain my joy. Honestly. <laughs> Thank you. I can't wait to be yours. We are together forever. I love you. I love you more. Thank you. 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 Now listen, baby. Anything you want from now, I mean, anything money can buy, but the one money cannot buy, I will give it to you. I want to spoil you mm. so that you will know that you're dealing with a rich princess. No, <laughs> I, I, I don't collect money from women. No, baby. You're I don't collect money from women. No, you're all mine. I love you. <laughs> 
Where is Ngozi? Where is Ngozi? I, I guess she's inside. The competition will now hold this weekend. Really? Yes, I heard from a reliable source that Prince Ifani will be coming to the palace this weekend to see father. And once he's here, the selection will take place. He'll be coming this weekend? Yes. In that case, we don't have much time then. No, really, we don't have time. And here we are still thinking we still got time. Wow. I can't wait to welcome the prince into this palace. Sis, you know I'm not dancing on that day. Why? Why are you not dancing? Sis, I am not interested in getting married anytime soon. But don't worry, sis. I will be there to cheer you up. <laughs> uh, anyway, I need to go and see Ngozi and give her the good news. Don't worry. I wish you all the best. Hmm? <laughs> you should wish your love to someone else. Someone that truly needs it. Because as for me, I do not need it. I've already made it clear to you that I'm not interested in marrying any dirty prince from any kingdom. Yeah. I'll be participating on the dance simply because I just want to please father. Not like it's my wish. Yeah. So you can wish your love to someone else. I'm fine. <laughs> so who do you want to marry my sister? Hmm? Yes. You want to know who I want to marry? Of course. Okay. Mm. I shall be unveiling him soon. Soon? And when I do, you see why my heart yields for him. Wow. Yeah. He's every woman's man. <laughs> I can't wait. Of course. I'm happy for you. Are you too? Ah. Cheers. What are you doing in Ben's room? And what is this supposed to mean? Where is that question coming from? No, 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 I want to know. What were you doing in his room? I can see you have gone out of your mind. How dare you shout at me, eh? Oledo, how dare you? And now listen to me. If you want to find out what I went to Ben's room to do, why don't you go in there and find out yourself? <laughs> Let it not be what I'm thinking of. Think whatever. Ngozika. Ngozika. How dare you? How dare you? And why are you shouting at me, Bola? Who gave you the right to shout? Oh, at shut me? up your stinking mouth! Can you imagine? What is this? <laughs> no, 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 what is it? Why are you both shouting like mad people? This what is, is because of this one? Can you now? imagine this, this, this chameleon, this idiot, this good for nothing, going behind me to sleep with my man? And if I may ask, who is your man? The cook! The cook! Uh, yes! Wait, 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 wait a minute. I need to get something clear. Wait a minute. Who are you both referring to as your man? You mean Benjamin, my man? I mean the cook, Benjamin, my man? Is that who you both are here fighting for? Yes, did I hear you well? Mm -hmm. You said Benjamin, your man. In Masikwa Bankata. Oh, but you want a good thing. Eh? Oh, anyway, I don't have anything to say. And you, listen. Benjamin is my man. And mine alone. You lie! Uh, Stay away from Benjamin. He belongs to me. Oh, I hear. This must be a dream or something. You both must be seriously dreaming, yeah? Because I'm trying to understand what the hell is going on here. Now listen, you two slimy bastards. If you have started scandanting around him, stay the hell away from him. Because I am not joking. And you to listen to listen me! Listen to me, this does not have anything to do with blood. I will not spare any bastard if he try to stop me or try to steal him from me. I will kill any bastard that tries to <laughs> come in between me and him. In other words, who are you calling bastard? The both of you. You're mad. And you will listen to me! You are raving mad! I am going to kill you anybody who will come against between I 
and my Benjamin. Nobody, nobody. I will kill you. I will laugh at you, girls. <laughs> but listen to me. I don't want to see you or you close to Benjamin. Get down. I can imagine. Wait a minute. Don't try me. Yeah. Hola. Who are you frightening? Did you just frighten me? Of course. You frightened me. What will you do, me? If I am, what on earth will you do? I want to know. Oh my God! Again, you want to judge me? That's your own business. You judge. Nobody should come close to me. Stupid people. Don't don't try me. 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 Listen, girls. I called this meeting. This very important meeting to address you all. Yes. <clears throat> to remind you all who your eldest sister is. In case you have forgotten. Because it seems to me that some of you suffer from loss of memories. Yes. Who your elder sister is. I just want to remind you all that I, Princess Ife Yuma, still remains your elder sister. And as so, it is my right to take or be given anything first before any of you. I don't understand. Where are you driving at? Okay, very simple. I'm just going to make it straight and short. Okay. You see that guy? I mean the young man named Benjamin. Our cook. Yes, the cook. You know Benjamin? Mr. Benjamin. Benjamin. Yes. <clears throat> As the first daughter of this family, I demand that all of you, every one of you, stay away from him. Because he belongs to me. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I look like a joke to you, or? No, is that it? No, why are you calling me? The, what I want to say is very simple. All of you, even the ones that move behind my back, meandering, scannivancing around, trying to steal him from me, should back off. For he is my man. This is the last time I will say this. I wouldn't for any reason have to repeat myself. The next time, none of you would like my action. And that's on period. Elder sister, my foot! How dare you? Did you listen to yourself speak, sis? Sister Ify, you open your mouth to say we should leave Benjamin for you as what? Don't you know we have feelings? We have blood running through our veins. How dare you speak such? Now listen to me. I, Ngozika, will never be alive and leave that boy Benjamin for you. Ooh. Did you hear me? That will be over my dead body. You better order for your casket, girl. You girls are just talking rubbish. Why are you guys ranting? Why they rant? No, I want to know. It will be over my dead body. Hmm? Will I leave Benjamin for the both of you? <laughs> over my dead body. Listen. You see, Benjamin? I don't want to see any of you close to him. He is mine uh -huh. and not yours. Listen, not what now. Not in your entire miserable lives. I'm talking to you, cockroaches. You should never near Benjamin. He belongs to me really? and not you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oledo, or yeah. whatever you are called. Who did you just address as cockroach? The two of you. Really? Yes. Oledo, I can see you've grown some wings. It seems to me that you've forgotten how I used to beat you up in those days. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ife Yungwa. That was then. Do you think? You can't try that rubbish again with me. You can't try it, I swear by the gods. I will skin you alive. Oh, no, 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 no. You think this is the old lady, though? 
you used to beat then. Try it now, and I will skin you alive. Try it. Can you imagine? Look at you, old hag. <laughs> to leave this place. Open the door. Ma. Nobody will leave this room until you all agree never to drag my man Benjamin with me. What? You must be sick in the head. If I want you need a medical attention, you are sick. I can see that. I don't What's wrong with you? Or whatever they call you. Listen to me. I know you are a troublesome person. You like trouble. But now, let me tell you, ah, in Gazika, I am not in the mood for trouble. So please, open this door. I'm only respecting you. Respect? No, Gazika. Did I hear you say respect? You heard me. No, when did you... Monkey idiot start respecting me in this palace? When? Well... You had my respect until you decided to be fornicating with my man, Benjamin. Listen, Ifeimwa, I am ready for you without your madness. Bring it on. Ifeimwa, bring it on. And I will show you the stuff I'm made of. Fire to fire. And I will burn I will give it to you. Please, please, please. I'll slip. Please, don't touch you. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Can we just stop this for now? I am not it to you already. Because I'm respecting you. You lost that respect already. What's wrong with you? Open this door, my friend. Hola, hola. Can we stop this on this man? For the last time, I won't have you insult me any further. What would you do? <laughs> you won't like it. Really? Just do not insult me again. And if she does, what will you do? Ask her. Because you can. If she does, what will you do? Ask her. It seems like your head is keeping, right? You love respect, but you brought yourself to the level of not having respect. You're dragging a man with your two siblings. You should be ashamed of yourself, you old cabo. Yes, you heard me. Mosika, Mosika, what is all this? Listen to me. You know, I can actually take anything from all of my hair, but definitely not from a church rat. Mm. Yes. Mm. Are you mad or something? Open the door! You dare open your silly gutter mouth and talk back at me like that? What will you do? What will I do? What will you do? <laughs> what will you do? Let me help me! I am happy you are all seated. What in God's name is wrong with you girls? Every time I hear you squabbling over what? 
What exactly are you all fighting over? Mother. I ask you girls, what are you fighting for? Mother, it's nothing we cannot resolve on our own. It's not that deep, okay? Really? I can see how you're resolving it. By breaking your little sister's head. What madness! Can't you stop already? Mother, we are very sorry. I do not need your apology. All I want is the reason for all this. Because you girls have been living peacefully and happy. Until recently. What changed? I believe you all are listening to me. Are you can hear me? I am waiting for your answers. What changed? Hey, my brother. Hey, no, you can you me? I will give it oh, to you. Shut up. Oh, you can you it? stop? You what can is imagine. All this? Huh? <laughs> Don't try me! Ugozika, I brought you all here for peace. I don't like what you are doing. You want to start fight again? Huh? It's obvious you called a useless meeting. Huh? Yeah, and I'm not supposed to be here. If it's not a useless meeting, why are they still quarreling? Because from all indications, these idiots, what? these two fools, are not ready for peace talk. They want war. And war they shall get. Mm. Because as it stands now, I am ready to fight you both to a standstill. Mubu, and that's close all your mouth. Period. Can you fight me? Mubu, eh? Can you fight me? Ngozika. You heard me. Ngozika. So if you want to talk, just watch the way you talk and don't even try to insult me. Direct it this way. Shut up your mouth, my friend. Wait, oh, direct wait, it which way? What is all this? What is all this? Ngozika. Cease. Did you just call Big me sis. Mumu? Big sis. No, 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 no. Yes. Allow me to teach her what hey, Mumu can do. Please. Mumu. See my eyes, oh. Me? Yes. Have you you me? Hey. Hey. No, no, no. Hey. you, I am warning you. I am you. No, no. I swear I will break your head. Would you hear me? Don't try me. Don't try me. I will show you. If anybody try me in this palace, I will break their head. Oh, it doesn't I spoke with you. Don't behave like that, sister. You can imagine. the truth. You will go to heaven, my sister. God bless you. She's indeed a moron. Hmm. You are a moron. Oh, 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 oh